Giving monkeys direct eye contact is a sign of a threat to them. Izzel likes to use a mirror to check out his surroundings. He's probably looking right at you. This is what retirement looks like for some former research monkeys, along with much larger living spaces, pools, and for some, their first time hanging out in fresh air. Um, just to see them look around in amazement, you know, it was all very calm and peaceful. Primates Incorporated is a retirement home in central Wisconsin for five rhesus macaques that were used in research, and one vervet monkey that was formerly a pet. And I'm lip smacking to keep them calm. It's a friendly gesture amongst primates. Amy Kerwin created this sanctuary after working in a research lab for five years. She calls it her life's work. Knowing that I couldn't help my 97 monkeys I grew close to, I mean, they all had names and personalities. When studies are done, most primates are euthanized so their tissues can be examined or they're sold to different studies. But researchers in sanctuaries say more and more labs are looking to retire monkeys. But the biggest hurdle is funding. Most studies are funded by the National Institutes of Health, or the NIH, but the government agency doesn't include funds for retirement. This would have to be a policy change by the NIH, and it will have a, a dramatic effect on, on the taxpayers, on budget. The nonprofit Americans for Medical Progress represents research labs. Cindy Buckmaster says they support retirement, but researchers are concerned about sanctuary standards and financial viability. These animals have very complex social and behavioral needs. Um, and physical needs, um, so the people who work with them really require a good deal of training and expertise. Kerwin says her sanctuary is on its way to being accredited with the North American Primate Sanctuary Alliance, which places animal welfare as the top priority. On the 17 acres, we would like to help up to 100 monkeys over the next 20 years. One researcher's way of giving back to those who have helped humans live better lives. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press, Westfield, Wisconsin.